Hey, Craig here. So in this video, we're going to be resurrecting the Harbor Freight Mini Mill that I uh, had CNC converted uh, probably about four, four years ago or so. Right? Okay, so this has been sitting, you know, basically in storage for the last, you know, four, four and a half years. Actually, I should correct what I said before. I, I, I think I did the, uh, the conversion of this probably close to five, five and a half years ago. So um, it's hard to believe that it's been that long. Um, anyway, so this hasn't been uh, fired up since, you know, four and a half, four, four and a half years ago. So uh, I've got the thing plugged in. I haven't started up. I haven't tried it yet. So we're going to find out together to see whether this thing uh, starts up or not. Um, let's see. Well, the fan came on, so that's a good sign. Things, thing seems to be uh, spinning okay. Doesn't have any tools or anything in there, but uh, I took those out and put them on the, the Tormach. I think I've got some spares. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, Alright, let me uh, fire this thing up and uh, see how it goes here. There it goes. Oh, still works good. All right. Okay, well, let me uh, walk you through all the components here real quick. Um, I've gotten everything out of the boxes, all laid out on the table here. So, um... Looks like we have the uh, the Y, uh, the X, the table, all the miscellaneous screws, uh, set screws. Some of these were probably for bolting down fixture plates and stuff. Got the uh, the Gibbs right here. I guess that's the uh, the uh, the Y. See, so, yeah, you know, Y and the Y Gib, X and the X Gib, I believe. And some of the screws right here, I think. Um, of course, we have the uh, the mill itself. Um, this has the uh, belt drive conversion on there. Um, it's pretty smooth. All right, this is the for the tool changer. Um, I got all the uh, the stepper motors here. Got them all labeled here. Uh, I got the control box here. I never could figure out how to mount this power supply. It's just sitting up on some, actually some metal. <laughs> um, but uh, all right, so I got the uh, the bellows here and the mounting things for it. Got the uh, let's see limit switches and data cables, that kind of thing. Um, I had a, I actually had a water, a, uh, flood coolant system set up for it, so that's that. Um, this is the, uh, CNC conversion kit right here. Um, yeah, uh, this is part of the kit. Um, and, uh, some of the, uh, other parts for the steppers to connect and screws. There's the, uh, piece that I had gotten for it. Um, some other miscellaneous, I think these were for limit switches or something, I forgot. Um, this is the vise, and these are the clamps that I had machined on the, the mini mill for the, for the vise. And, um, the T-nuts, and, uh, the tooling plate, the tooling plate that I got from, uh, a little machine shop. And, um, I had a, a, a bench for it, so this is the hardware that I had used to mount it to the bench, so... Alright. Okay, well I guess the first thing to do is to get this uh, thing cleaned up. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go back through some of my, uh, some of the videos that I made to figure out how to put this thing back together. Um, I could probably fumble my way through some of it, but I'll probably end up putting stuff on in the wrong sequence, and I'll It'll just take forever. It'll probably be faster just to go back and watch those videos on my phone while I'm doing this. But uh, 
And the first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and clean up the, uh, you know, the mill itself. Um, there seems to be some rust on, you know, non-critical areas. The, the critical areas, you know, where the where it's going to slide and everything, seem to be pretty good. There's, there's probably because there's a bunch of oil and stuff on there. Actually, when I was using this, I, I believe I was actually using the wrong kind of oil. I, I think I was trying to use um, like a thicker oil. Um, uh, so that may have been part of the problem, I'm not sure, but, um, all right, well, let me get, uh, cleaning this thing up. Okay, well, it's far from being perfectly clean, but, you know, I kind of got the majority of the dust and grime and stuff off of it. Uh, you know, I'm going to be cleaning it up a little more here and there as I go along, you know, cleaning the uh, critical components or areas, you know, where there's sliding motion and that kind of thing. So, all right, well, I guess I'm going to start off with the, uh, I'm just going to go on to the axes. Uh, I guess I'm going to start off with the... Uh, you know, I'm going to start off with the, with the Z. Um, that'll be an easy one to start with and get, you know, get one done. So we'll, uh, we'll start with that. Well, as you can see here, the, uh, the Z axis is actually still pretty much operational. Um, we really need to put some oil on here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's still, still working pretty good. Um, Really, all I need to do on the Z is to uh, put the stepper motor back on. So, let me go ahead and do that here. Just need to uh, take out the two screws here. This is uh, Z. Got it labeled on here. Just line it up with the coupling in there. Put the uh, right size Allen here. Looks like a three millimeter. I did it before I had these tiny little Allen keys. These uh, long ones here from Eklund or whatever it is are pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm gonna turn this so the wires are to the back. There we go. Tighten that up here. All right, that's back in business. All right, now we'll move on to the uh, to the y-axis here. Uh, I actually just watched uh, my, my one of my videos about uh, tearing it down, so. This should be relatively easy to put back together here. Um, minus the cleaning. I think the cleaning is going to be the hardest part here. Okay, well, I'm going to oil this up a little bit. Uh, this time I'm going to use the uh, the right kind of oil. I think I was using, like, grease or something. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. Um, I, with, I guess with the mini mill, you have to keep the, the ways lubricated. With, with the Tormac, it's like automatic, or you, you know, you pull on the lever every once in a while, it oils all the points. Um, but this isn't a big deal. You just uh, add some oil on here. Um, at the time, I wasn't really that good about keeping it oiled. But uh, the, uh, put some oil on here and run it up and down a few times. Plus this might be better to do with the thing hooked up, but 
I figured I'd, you know, with the steppers hooked up and running, but I figured I'd try to get a little oil in there and get some, there hasn't been any real oil in the, uh, in the, what do they call it, the walnut in there, so using a lot of this oil putting this thing back together I guess I can hold it like this I guess the important thing is to get a lot up in there where it You know, goes through a lot. Don't really need a lot on the bottom here, but yeah, it seems to be running pretty smooth there. So can't wait to get the uh, the steppers hooked up. I guess I could try to like bypass it or something, but um... all right, cool. All right, we'll uh, move on to the uh, the X and the Y here. Okay, well that's probably long enough for uh, for this video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be going over the uh, cleaning up and putting together the uh, the Y and the X, and uh, we'll see how far we get on the next one. Uh, if we got time, we'll go on to the electronics and all that stuff and firing it up, but. Uh, that may end up being a third video, I'm not sure, but, uh, all right, cool. Well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. If you'd like to subscribe, there should be a button up here someplace. Uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, another button. Uh, other videos you might like to watch. Uh, I'll put a link to my, uh, uh, the Mini Mill series. I did a whole series on converting this. I'll put a link to that over here. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.